We're going to explore today the creative district in Bangkok. We just arrived to the Satan Taxing uh, BTS and we are also at the front of the Saturn uh, Pier. So just right behind me is the Saturn Pier. So there are so many boats actually, you know, coming in and coming out from the Saturn Pier as you see <laughs> quite busy. So this district it's called the Creative District in Bangkok. Let's explore. As you can see, some people coming here by the tuk-tuks also. There is the one huge mural behind me and also so many buskers everywhere with the live music and they're trying to sell you something. Uh, we're gonna explore now the small alleys of Creative District, which is we're gonna start with this small alley and it's also at the front of the Shangri-La Hotel. Here we go. This is the corner of Shangri-La Hotel Bangkok. Uh, well, basically, this hotel is one of the best ones in the Bangkok city, I'm gonna tell you, uh, overlooking the river. We are on the back side, so it doesn't look that uh, really interesting, but from the river side, it looks nice, and we are going into small alleys deep inside. Look at this temple, and there are even some squirrels walking on the cables. So right in front of us, this is Chiao Eng Biao Shrine. This Hainan Shrine from the late 80s, was built in memory of 108 Chinese travelers who sailed for Bangrak but were killed in Vietnam after being mistaken for pirates. So the name of the district is Bangrak district. So now we will go there to explore more how it is. And over there, if Damian can point you, that is one abandoned hotel building, look. This may be very handy for some of you because I believe many of you staying uh, in Shangri-La Hotel. So this is just actually if you left hotel outside, all of this is just next to the hotel. So maybe very handy for some of you when you are coming to Bangkok in the future. Also at the front of the hotel you have a little hawker center look like, like a street food, so many stars with the food options, also some barista over here. Uh, well, let's go this direction now. If so, if we have a time and energy, we will come back to this uh, hawker center for having a dinner, maybe. An old mosque. This mosque, while modest, is over a century old and is a testament to Muslims settling down in Bangrak in an early period. The Islamic community became a presence in the area during King Rama's five reign and constructed the mosque in the early 90s going deep inside the small alleys next to the mosque actually as you can see pretty local area i'm gonna tell you again like last time all right so this one is bangrak market well basically every community in bangkok has two hearts its house of worship and market bangrak market provides the locals with their meats and produce and hosts several street food stall so if you are here early, early enough, you might glimpse locals giving alms to monks from a nearby temple for blessings in return. So we will exit the market onto Chanron Krung 44 Alley and we'll turn right and walk until we go to the main road of Chanron Krung. And this area is so cool, I'm gonna tell you actually. So photogenic to making pictures and videos, I have to agree with that. And okay, let's explore a little bit more over here. What we have? So many stars and beautiful shops, even with the flowers as well. So as you can see, actually it's very vibrant here uh, with so many uh, things actually everywhere. Let somebody comment last time. In Bangkok, wherever you go, wherever you look, it's going, something is going on and there's no difference here. Um, well, the street is full packed of the stars and you can actually get also inside the market if you would like to and auntie selling something. Also, the street is actually very busy currently right now, right here. And also at the front is the very interesting building like this one, which is actually Prince Rama Theater and Hotel at the same time. Looks very impressive. But also market is still going on everywhere here. Uh, kids going out from the school, some visitors here strolling around like us. So, you know, just <laughs> I could say like an over afternoon in Bangkok. And one thing, you know, whenever we walk here, I thought that this is already the local spot, but I see that there are so many uh, international visitors or maybe Thai people call it as 
farang <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's true, and this is a little bit of the shot of the city life in Bangkok. There is also Kappa Amazon Junction and there is the theater you can go. I will show you a little bit up. This is a very tall building actually. Prince Rama Theater. This hidden structure surrounded by shop houses on all four sides is one of Bangkok's oldest standalone cinemas. In its heyday before falling into disrepair, Prince Rama Theater showcases both films and live performance. The theater has been revived once more into a homestay accommodation. We are going into very small alley again. We like small alleys actually. <laughs> Currently in Bangkok, uh, trying to look for some uh, temple, hidden temple. Let's see. Wat Swan Plu. While most temples are decorated in gold, Wat Swan Plu instead chooses a blue hue to accent its mostly white facades and carvings. The result is a unique Thai Buddhist temple that is to be noted for its detail, especially on its gables. And from the small alley is the wooden house still in the city center of Bangkok. This is unbelievable how they keep it, the wooden house here. So this is the small alley, the road leading to the, you know, to the temple where we were and overlooking the theater. This creative district is like an old town, but like a mix between the old, as you can see, really old versus very new. And this is actually cool. Also so many nice places to having a coffee or snack around. As we stop on the middle of the junction right now, I want to show you this building one more time. This is the State Tower, Bangkok. There is already modern part of the Bangkok and still is still old one. Okay, let's explore more what's going on here. There is also school. That's why there were so many students on the way because the school is here. Of course, on the way more food options. Options with food must be everywhere. Food must to be. And also this building over here is very nice, I'm gonna tell you. Very interesting architecture. And in the background, the modern buildings, of course. Also, you can find the shops with the jewelries, but this one is very interesting shop with very interesting stuff inside. Just wanted to show you a little bit. So if you are here, this building is very characteristic uh, for you to navigate yourself. This is the college. And if you pass through inside the college, what I'm not sure if I can do it though, there is the cathedral inside. I will zoom it a little bit for you. Looks like this one, very interesting. Very interesting, a lot of interesting things to see. And that's the college since 1885, by the way. That's the name, Assumption College, founded in 1885. Let's explore a little bit more of the area. Uh, so many points to cover today. I hope so you're enjoying something different. And well, I can see also some people strolling around here. And that's the nice shops with the suits, I guess, here. Charon Krong Road. It's a major road in Bangkok and the first in Thailand to be built using modern construction methods. Built during 1862-1864 in the reign of King Mongkut, Rama IV, and it runs from the old city center in Ratanakosin Island, passes through Bangkok's Chinatown and continues into Bangrak district where it formerly served the community of European expatriate and ends in Bangkolam. Construction of the road marked a major change in Bangkok's urban development with the major mode of transport shifting from water to land. Charon Krong Road was Bangkok's main street up to the early 20th century but later declined in prominence. It is still home to many historic buildings and neighborhoods. At the front is the Peninsula Hotel and the river and the pier. And we get inside a small gang, like a small alley. And check this out, this architecture, what's going on here. Very nice building. And uh, well, I think this is the way actually how we can get inside the cathedral itself. So this is Assumption Cathedral. This 19th century Romanesque house of worship is the principal Roman Catholic Church of Thailand. While its exterior looks relatively new due to renovation and the church interior still execute an age aura. 
facing away from the cathedral's main door, walk straight, turn right exit to the compound onto Charon Krong Alley, then turn left and head towards the Oriental Pier. In front of us is East Asiatic Company, instantly recognizable by its European architecture. This grand white structure was once the headquarters of the Danish East Asiatic Company. Hans Neil Andersen discovered a need for passengers and freight services lines between Copenhagen and Bangkok and founded the company in late 18s. And this building, by the way, it was connected to each other and that was the Hotel Plaza at in Bangkok, something like this. Very interesting things here. And casually on the other side of the street, for some reason, is Patek Philippe shop. Very interesting and must be some very fancy hotel here because all the nice cars like Alphas and Mercedes are coming coming here. However, I have no idea what is the hotel, but that must be one of these uh, riverfront hotels anyways. Wow, so behind me this is called the China House. Basically in, ba in Bangrat district, you can spot the very historic building surrounding steel and also the brand new building. What I can say then, they still preserve the, uh, what is it called, the historical things. And over some very old building here. Uh, they are modern and the old at the same time on the same street. LOP Place, the first incarnation of this antique mall was Falk and Bedek department store, one of the first western shopping complex in Bangkok in late 18s. While the shopping center targets a niche market, anyone can still visit and get a historical experience. Marvel at buildings preserve exterior, Photographs of old Bangkok lining the walls of its ground floor and still functioning original elevator. Some sources think as the mall is open, unfortunately it doesn't look as it's open, especially facing this door here. Uh, but uh, there is some seller with the satay, at least at the front of it. And actually must be very popular because so many people actually are standing and waiting for having a satay at the front of it. And they are like a nice... Very nice streets in general with so many nice nice buildings and architectures everywhere around. And some shops like a Thai silk actually here is open, for example. Just small itself doesn't look open. And there's the proof again. And here supposed to be also the OP Garden shopping place. Uh, everything actually seems closed. That's probably because of the victim of the pandemic, unfortunately. But uh, well, the sources on the internet still saying this is open, unfortunately, it's not. Interesting fact is how they are washing the streets in Bangkok here. That's very, very different, I could say. Very cool. An interesting thing is that as this is the Embassy of France and this is active Embassy of France in Bangkok which is very interesting as you can see some people living out and they are cooking some spicy food that's why it's really covering her face because actually it's very like the spicy smell of something and massage horn i think there's another mosque uh, deep inside very local area here definitely because there are people driving there okay let's uh, let's go there let's go back to the main street now the name of the street, Rue de Brest, sounds very French. This, on this little street, there is the Embassy of France, and this is already the main street. I'm gonna tell you what's going on around a little bit. And as you can see, so many foreigner visitors here. I believe most of them, they actually uh, look like European visitors here, because many European embassies here, and historical things. And well, I just have a feeling like that. <laughs> as they are European, but I may be wrong, maybe. Uh, well, as you can see here, the old architecture and in the background, they're building already the new skyscrapers. Uh, very loud tuk-tuk sometimes are also, but also so many nice German European cars. BMW, Mercedes and Porsche in the one shot. Also here at the front, there is the cannabis uh, shop and the rooftop bar delivery factory and there is nice cafe overlooking the main street actually a small but little cafe but very nice modern i'm looking for the post office is somewhere here also something nice is here i'm gonna show you when i put my camera up something very nice must be a temple deep inside 
Ah, uh, but not sure. Looks like a local street. And this is the Grand Postal Building, the main post office in Bangkok. Very old building. I think it's currently renovated and there were so many exhibitions actually gonna be probably on the weekend. Uh, this is the theater building where we are filming, so this is all in the same area. Um, well, the post office still working, what actually is cool. And there is also a very nice statue here how they long, uh, long time ago they was doing everything. Well, and that's how does it look like, the post office in Bangkok. And this is how does it look like inside the main post office in Bangkok. Very quiet uh, to compare to this one to Saigon, if I can do this, if I can compare, but it's also very beautiful as well. With so many things and there's exhibition on the other side. So I am already tired, as you can see on the Winnie's face. It's very hot in general in Thailand, so uh, if you would like to support us, what we are doing, uh, coffee or bank a membership will be a really good. I, really, uh, I will really appreciate that, but it's totally not mandatory. It's just up to you. Big Stamp Up will do the job as well. It's free. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow.